what a great experience. Like very few buildings make me stop and go, wow. But this is one of them. One of the things that I thought would be pretty hard was like pass up like souvenirs because I always love to buy souvenirs when we go places. But knowing that I'd have to carry it, I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> hotel had an amazing breakfast uh, one of the most amazing breakfasts we've had so far in Italy they actually have, like meat and cheese some more besides just like a, a croissant so that was really nice now walking to eight minutes to a different hotel it is Saturday and the hotel that we were at instead of being the, like $50 that it was it was gonna be like $75 so it was better to go to another one wow look at this that is impeccable. Wow. After seeing like so many buildings, like very few buildings make me stop and go, wow. But this is one of them. The detail and stuff is amazing. It's the Duomo, but it's the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. Look at this building. It looks like a storybook. Kids will be kids. <laughs> so close. Hello. Hello, bonjour. No. All right, so we got situated in our hotel and look at our amazing view. This is amazing. All right, we're gonna pick it out the window for you. I'll put it on my wrist. I won't drop it. Isn't that awesome? So we get to work today. Then we can have a dedicated work day, and then tomorrow we'll explore. It's five different rooms. You do have to walk up like three flights of stairs, so if you have like huge luggage, you, you there is an elevator, but it would be kind of annoying uh, with huge luggage. But for us, this is, this is absolutely perfect, and it was really affordable and like an amazing view, and I just love the, all the light in the room. And to me, this is extra magical because I read the the Sword Trilogy, but this specific cathedral was featured in that book. It was one of those books where I started reading like late at night and I'd stay up until like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning because it was so good. 3 o'clock in the morning when you get up <laughs> at 6 and you'd be like, I'm tired. I'm like, why? You think I go to bed until 3 because I was reading. It was good. <laughs> it's the noon bells. This is so cool to watch everybody. to people watch. Oh yeah, I just, I have my laundry hanging to dry. No biggie. Got our tea ready. Peter's working already. And I was just getting some vitamins, some Axio, and just kind of organizing, and eventually I'll get to editing. <laughs> and I found that there was this Planini shop just right on the other side of the Doma. They have over 3,500 reviews on TripAdvisor. They're the number two restaurant in all of Florence. We definitely want to go and check them out. So we're going to Panini Toscany. Looks pretty new though. Looks nice. Creaky, creaky. I guess we're on four zero. Oh goodness. Are you started? Two persons only allowed. Wait, what happened? Just try it again. There's not an exit here, unless it's on your side. Yeah, it's your side. Oh, that's confusing. <laughs> We're like, we are on floor zero, what? Okay, whew, that was a little scary. I will give you the samples. Okay. You and then you can choose which one you like for your paninis, okay? Awesome. Sure. So we start with the cheese. This one has just 10 days of it. 10 days? Oh, that is so good. This one has one month of age and comes from Montalcino. Prosciutto Toscano, Tuscany ham. This one is medium cultivation. And the last one is Salamino Toscano. Again mm. from Montalcino, where cheese number three comes. What a great experience! location for 
this restaurant. So you get to try um, four different cheeses, three different meats, and then you choose your meat, your cheese, and you get to choose three different vegetables, um, and then your kind of bread that you want it on, all for six euros. And this is absolutely amazing, and it has fresh ingredients all from this region of Tuscany. So good. <laughs> it's really an experience how you get to sample the different things. It's awesome.